The Chiricahua National Monument in Arizona. Welcome to the channel today. This is RV4x40.com. We're glad you could join us. We're going to take you on a visit to the Chiricahua National Monument in southeast Arizona. There'll be a map here that shows you just exactly where it is in relation to some major cities. And it's uh, not any place close to uh, major population areas, but it's not that far off the interstate. I think it's about 40 miles uh, off of the interstate to get to the entrance. And so this is a national monument that was established in 1924. Prior to uh, the U.S. owning the Southwest, this of course was Mexican territory. But even prior to that, uh, there were Indians. They traced the Chiricahua Apaches back to the Athabascans, which are a Native American tribe found in the Northwest portion of North America. That includes Alaska and Canada, which is where I thought of Athabascan peoples as being. But somewhere around 1400 to 1500 AD, these Indians were driven south by probably warring factions within their own territory and eventually settled into what is now Arizona, New Mexico, and, and somewhat into northern Mexico. The U.S. acquired this territory at the end of the Mexican-American War in 1848, and then added some more territory to it with the Gadsden Purchase in 1854, which established really the final border between the U.S. and, and Mexico. And so up until that time, there were relatively few settlers in here. But with the acquisition of the land by the U.S. and the westward migration of Americans and Europeans coming to America, the territory started to being settled. Early family that settled in here were the Ericsons. They were Swedish immigrants. And they founded a ranch uh, known as the Far Away Ranch later on, uh, down near where the current National Monument is. The Ericsons were Emma and Neil. It was their daughter Lillian and their husband Ed converted the ranch into a visitor's ranch and lobbied for creation of a national park around that area. It wasn't a national park, but it was created as a national monument in 1924. And if you're not familiar, national monuments are created by a presidential proclamation. And one of the issues with them in is that either the same president or even a later president could always reverse the proclamation and, and wipe out a national monument. This particular monument is run by the National Park Service, but a national park itself is created by an act of Congress, becomes a law of the land, and so it would take another act of Congress to, uh, to, to uncreate, if you will, a national park. So this is a national monument. It's been going on for 90-some years now, and so it's, uh, it's unlikely to be changed, but it also may never become a national park. But the area was formed uh, maybe 27 million years ago. There were a number of volcanoes in the area, and the eruptions there deposited large amounts of volcanic ash and lava. And this uh, eventually gets compressed into what is known as rheolite, as, as a rock formation. That rock is fairly soft, and so it's subject to a lot of wind and water erosion. So the formations you'll see in the park are a result of this erosion over several million years. And there's some very striking uh, vertical columns in the park. There are some balancing rocks and those kinds of features. You'll see them in the southwest and other places as well, but they're very pronounced in this part of the area. The monument itself encompasses almost 12,000 acres, and uh, there is one campground there. It's a primitive campground. I think the maximum size vehicle you can put into it is 27 feet, but it is there if you want to camp in the, in the monument itself. There's an eight-mile road that goes back into the territory, and there's a visitor center there. And then there are 17 miles of day-use hiking trails throughout. So 
you can see a variety of wildlife. Of course, the rock formations are spectacular. And you'll see some animals that this is the northernmost end of their territory coming out of Mexico into this part of the U.S. and not found in other places. And uh, get the numbers right here. There are 71 species of mammals in the monument, 46 species of reptiles, 8 amphibians, 171 species of birds, and unnumbered un numbers of different types of insects. So it's a spectacular area to visit. We took a lot of pictures. We hope you enjoy the pictures and the scenes that we took in Chiricahua National Monument.
Well, that's a quick look at the Chiricahua National Monument in southeast Arizona. We hope you've enjoyed some of the pictures. If you like the channel, please uh, subscribe to it. If you haven't already done so, click on the subscribe button down below. We'd appreciate that. And click on the bell icon to be notified when we post a new video. In the meantime, we'll be seeing you as we travel the highways and byways of America.